On the one-year anniversary of the air assault mission that killed 9-11 mastermind Osama bin Laden, flight crews from board operating base Fenty, where the raid team launched from, reflected on the historic feat of their peers. I was kind of amazed by the, the pilot's skill. I mean, they, they really had to use some skill to get out there. Just knowing about the type of environment this is out here, the challenges of flying that distance, finding a place in the dark, and then coming back, and essentially with no injuries for the U.S. forces. It's, a, it's an amazing feat. Chinook pilot William Haynes and his crew routinely fly night missions. Basically, one of the main things you want to do is maintain secrecy and um, OPSEC. Um, lots of stuff's leaking out these days on like social media and stuff like that. So. Basically, keep yourself safe by keeping that information tight. While operating under the cover of darkness keeps Chinook crews safer, they still have to contend with flying over the same mountainous terrain as daytime pilots. Really, for us, flying at night is a trade-off. Less likely to be shot at by the enemy due to them being not able to see us, but the challenge becomes more environmental. And the mountains that we fly into, uh, the Hindu Kush Mountains, can be anywhere from 7,000 up to uh, as much as 20 plus thousand feet. Despite these obstacles, Haynes says his crew is able to accomplish their mission every night. From Nangahar, I'm Army Sergeant Tanangachi Musuni.